Hey viewers, even though we are called playing with Prolog, we are interested in all kinds of programming outside functional and imperative programming. Today, we are looking at the reactive program language Node-RED. Node-RED is an open source language originally created by IBM. It's implemented in and lives atop Node.js. Annie's been experimenting with Node-RED. Annie, I hear you use a browser-based editor to make programs. Yes, programs are called flows in Node-RED. Uh, here, I'll show you. I'll make a simple flow here that uh, grabs Google's home page. Uh, first I'll add an inject node uh, and then um, I'll add a uh, HTTP request and then I'll add a debug mode and I'll connect them all with wires. Uh, now we need to set some configuration in these nodes. I double click on the HTTP request and get this uh, info panel. Now I have to set the URL of course to get Google's home page. Um, and uh, then um, I'll just return it as a UTF-8 string, that's fine, so I'm done. Uh, these wires are paths for messages. Messages are JavaScript objects. The actual content of the message is a, mess is a field in the message called payload. Uh, now for for this payload, we uh, the HTTP re request node sends the message payload as the request body. So um, the actual content of the message is going to come from from here, and so I want to change the payload to a null string because we don't want anybody to forget. What are the other fields? You might. You might want to send several types of messages to a node. Uh, the topic uh, lets you indicate what message type this is. The name lets you label the node so you can tell what's going on in complicated flows. Uh, let's label this get Google page. The other items let you make this node inject uh, messages at a, a repeated interval and uh, we won't need that at the moment. Uh, so uh, now we can I'll get rid of all of that and we can demonstrate our flow. Oh I've forgotten to deploy. I often do that. It's a, a kind of a knit. And there we are. Uh, this is the contents of Google's home page. So is Node-RED just for these kinds of HTTP operations? Uh, no, it would be great for a, like a scientific workflow or a machine learning pipeline uh, or the cert read a file and then write a file uh, transform that's pretty common fare for programmers. Uh, I'm using it to control a robot what you showed really just did I.O. How do you do computation? Here's a flow that reads the ultrasound sensor. This node injects a message uh, four times a second to read the st start the, this read and display process. Uh, that's awkward for debugging to have it repeatedly sending. So I put this switch in. Uh, the switch switch nodes only forward their message if a certain condition holds. In this case, the condition is some state I'm holding. Node-RED provides context objects at the node, flow, and global levels. Here I check if this variable is set. I control that variable with these two buttons. What's your orange block that says set ultrasound repeat? That's a template node. Uh, it 
I uh, set the value of the repeat ultrasound field in the flow context in the flow level context to the message payload. This controls wh that switch we were looking at. What do the double curly braces mean? Uh, that's a template uh, from the mustache template language. Uh, there are lots of places in Node Red where you can use mustache, and it reduces a lot of busy work code. This node does an HTTP request. The body is the payload. Uh, the ultrasound sensor range sensors sense distance in centimeters. It's a string, and there wasn't a node to convert from a string uh, to a float, so I had to use a little JavaScript. Uh, the node just converts it into a float. I see more switches. Yeah, the sensor data is dirty. Um, so I wrote a prolog filter to clean the data by marking values good or bad. And I wanted to be able to switch it in and out and, and compare. Um, did, you, did you use more of the uh, kind of lavender inject buttons? So Node Red allows us to make a dashboard like this. Um, I put a switch on the dashboard here. And I think I see. The light blue is the node that sets up the GUI control. But how does the value initially get set? See this inject? It's got a tiny one. I don't know if you can see that. I set that to send a true message at the startup. So we have two paths of messages now. One with the filter and one without. Yes, the top one takes the number and just wraps it in a measurement object using a template. The bottom one takes a string and converts it to a prolog term. It then passes that uh, as a query to a pension node. Oh, it supports prolog? Yeah, there was already a uh, pensions package uh, for Node.js, and I just made a what they call a palette module uh, to add pensions to Node.red. Uh, it was pretty easy, even though I actually don't know Node. What about these next switches? Uh, the prolog data sends data, the prolog sends its data on, uh, but marks it as valid or not valid. Um, I need to separate the valid data from the invalid data, um, and then I need to slightly rearrange it and uh, then I send it on to the gauge and the chart on my GUI dashboard. Well, that was more than I expected. I can see this being useful. But now the academic part of me is asking lots of questions, thinking about Node-RED as a programming language. There's lots of interesting questions about Node-RED. We could do a whole episode just on Node-RED as a language. Hey, let's do that. That would be fun. Yes, let's do that. And so we ride off into the sunset, courtesy of Node-RED. Subscribe and like to be notified when we're back and thinking about these flow languages.